What happens when you launch a component configuration that is not completely wired up? To illustrate what happens, here is a simple model based on the game of ping pong. We create a single component, ping pong, which models the behaviour of a player. In this model, the player is perfect. So long as they have someone to play with, they never miss a ball. The player component exposes the same ping pong interface twice. Once as a required interface, and one as a provided interface. The ball is modelled as an instance of a signal. When the player component receives a ping signal, the OAL in the port responds by sending a pong signal. Similarly, when a pong signal is received, the port OAL sends a ping signal in response. A normally wired system consists of two instances of the player component wired together across their complementary ports, ping in and pong in. When this configuration is run, we see alternating ping received and pong received messages as the two component instances bounce messages back and forth. What happens if we launch a component or reference on its own without it being wired up to anything else? When a message is sent across an unsatisfied interface reference, Verifier will attempt to run any object action language found in the outgoing port for the message being called. This allows simple stubs to be written which can serve low level testing purposes. To see this working, we add OAL to the outgoing signals. This OAL simply logs the fact that the activity was executed. We append the word stub in the output so that we can clearly see that it was stub code that got executed. When we run the component alone and invoke the incoming signal, we see the ping received log message, followed by the pong stub invoked. The stub does not cause any further activity, so the behaviour does not continue indefinitely as it does in the wired example. During integration, you might choose not to launch any component instance in a given wired configuration. What happens in this case? If you do this, any interface references satisfied with an unstarted component instance are treated as if they had been left unsatisfied. To verify this is the case, launch just one half of the normally wired system. Again, you will see the ping received pong stub invoked log messages, showing that satisfactions made with an unstarted component behave the same way as they do with an unwired port. What happens if there is no OAL in the outgoing message body? If no OAL is found, Verify will attempt to silently continue execution. If the message is an interface operation that returns a value, Verify will log an error in the console and return the default value for the return type. For this reason, it is good practice to at least log the fact that the outgoing OEL was called, so that incompletely wired configurations always make themselves obvious. Even better practice is to leverage these outgoing port activities to implement the lowest level testing infrastructure.